Julie, hi. Hi. It's really nice to have you here. Thank you. It's nice to be here. I have experiences with depression. Um, do you? Yes. <laughs> yes. Very much so. I, I've never asked you about it, ever. I don't think. I mean, we've no, we've, we've, we haven't, talked. we've had interactions, but never anything that went down to the like. Yeah. So you know, what are the where's the lowest you've been? Yes, it's interesting because I feel like usually that's where I like to start. Is sleeping big for you? I'm a great sleeper and yeah. I'm a great eater. Me too. Those are two things that if they're disrupted, like that's yeah. that's not that yeah, things are things are bad. I was never one of those doesn't eat when depressed. I can't even with those people. I know. Ugh, it's like that please. really annoys me. What I would do to have both on the same coin. You know what yes. I mean? It would be God. like it would balance out. Yes. It'd be like, well, <laughs> depression in my life, but I look but better a, a than ever. Yeah, oh, please. No, fuck you. I hate that. Oh my God. I hate people that lose weight when they're depressed. Yeah, they're like my number one. Like, I know I you're not supposed to no hate interest. anybody because of their bodies yeah. these days, but like I still do. And it's, and and it's never, and it's only if they're like, it's only if they're thin. So yeah, that's just my and that's burden. that's a burden, and that's their burden, I think. You take meds. Mm-hmm. When do you go off? And how do you decide? Oh, when I'm really happy, and it's usually like when I'm at the beginning of a relationship. Like and you're like, I love. don't need this. Yeah. And I don't want the side effects. Yeah. Or just I just don't need it. I don't need it. Yeah. And why be on things you don't need? Yeah. And then you dip, and you realize. Um. Yeah. And then most of my like mental health stuff in the past two and a half years has been around like a, a breakup that I had. So that mm. really changed my life. I was with a guy for about five years and then we broke up and it really felt like a divorce of some kind. Yeah. So I really, my life changed a lot and I needed, you know, a lot of support. Yeah. I sometimes wrestle with all the discussion around meds mm -hmm. and like get really sort of annoyed when someone's talking about the drug companies or, or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. And Scientologists are, oh, yeah. I assume like me, you have a lot of Scientologist friends. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of in, like just in that. In that when world. you get to a certain you have threshold, to be. you have to be in the business. Like income, you just have to, like, you're gonna that, yeah. accept it. Yeah. Do you notice? Okay, I'm thinking these kinds of thoughts when I'm depressed. These are some of the like I find like the language, certain sentences literally just like appear when I'm depressed. Like mm -hmm. um, I'm broken is <laughs> a big one. <laughs> I mean, worthless is big. I think. Do you have like that kind of clear internal language, or is it just more? For me, depression is more of a mental uh, treadmill of like, of being solutionless, of being mm, like, yeah. um, you know, I, I very much have like a problem solving oriented brain. So yeah. when I really get depressed, the, 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 it's less about I'm worthless or I'm broken than it is about, I don't know, I don't know. I That's, don't have yeah. the solution and maybe right. there isn't one. Yes, like my friend who, when she was in a hideous depression, like, will tell me, you know, that she doesn't deserve human life or whatever. And it's like, what are some of the reasons? Like, what are some things you're thinking? And it's like, she once said, like, that her DVD collection, like, was not good, you know? And it was just like, that was really, like, it really felt real, you know? Like, it really felt like, which... A failure? Yeah, yeah, which I, I you know... Yeah, I, I felt that way DVDs. when I can't find like a remote control or I'm like, yeah. my setup is shitty. Yeah. Like, why don't I have a better setup? It's a sign. I feel like like suicidal ideation like should be a part of life. Like it's weird that it's not. What do you mean not. ideation? Like entertaining the possibility? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like that's like the clinical, like what they say when they're like, is there suicidal ideation have happening? Have you been thinking about harming yourself? Yeah, and it's... Have you been thinking about stuff like you don't want to live anymore? Yeah, I would feel like I don't want to be conscious, but I'm not going to kill myself. I just, I, I, I really like, and that's always made me feel ashamed, like as a, as like someone claiming like serious depression. Really, like, you're ashamed of not being suicidal. Like, yeah, like I like think actively, like, 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 I'm like false... you know that you're not going to go through with it. Yeah. So you're ashamed of, of, of like exhibiting the symptoms of that of, to, to yes. maybe to someone who actually is. Yes. That like you're not they're... like authentic. Yes, like, uh -huh. yes, the fear of, of, That's oh a new God, kind of shame. Been a, that's impressive. Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, that's, like, but, I was even worried that you, yeah, would be, like, like, as, I, I was, like, embarrassed to say, like, the fact that I, like, probably wasn't ever going to kill myself. I was, like, literally, like, Julie's going to leave. 
<laughs> and I pushed through the shame. Good for you. Except to, to like open up. This was an episode of How to Weep in Public. Just wanted to say hello directly at you. Let you know there's more episodes. You know, go watch those and do we do we damn well please. But yeah, there are more episodes, so you know, check those out and if they feel like it, it's so crass to ask. <laughs>